happy now to talk about summer etiquette. We just got through talking about looking good. Now we have to find out how to act cool or not cool during the <laughs> summertime. So we want to bring back our etiquette queen, Leontina Richardson. Thank you for Thank having you so me back for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. And, and you can tell that I lost a bed. So yes. I would not be sitting here looking like a rooster. You're still a glamorous. Oh, all that matters. A, a glamorous <laughs> rooster. So um, there are some things during the summertime that we need to still keep up with our etiquette on. Absolutely. Yeah. So let's get right to that. I need the list of things. If I can have that. It's not in these notes. Oh. <laughs> now, now, I'm at your feet. At your, at your chicken feet. Or your rooster oh, feet. Oh, full? <laughs> you got it? <laughs> no. Nope, that's for that's the wrinkle fairy. No. Okay, this is live TV, and the proctor yeah, just went down. Oh, so here we go. go. Okay, so here yes. we go. Here's our first, very first one, and we'll look at the monitor for this. I think I'm just going to move okay, this here and stand deal. up. All right, cool or not cool? Is it okay to wear white to a wedding, uh, but can you wear different shades of white? Is that cool or not cool? Oh, you can't wear white. Let's see what the audience thinks. Okay, okay I'm, saying, um, I'm saying you can wear shades of white, but you can't wear all white. Not cool. Oh. Not, not cool. cool. No white. I know that. No white at all. So here's the thing. A lot of brides now, they're not wearing the traditional white all the time. Right. Some brides are wearing the off-whites or cream. So you really want to let the bride be the leading lady in white yes. for her special day. You don't want to blend with her. So definitely not cool. No shades of white. Okay, what about a man's sport coat? No. 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 Okay. Not for the bride. I would not recommend the... that. Okay. And here's the thing, some brides will let their bridesmaids wear some shade of it, but yes. they're in control of that. As a guest, you should never wear any shade Unless of white. Unless that's the right. theme, absolutely. All right, let's see our next etiquette, cool or not cool. Flip-flops, as long as they're stylish, are okay for special occasions. Is that cool or not cool? I'm going oh, not cool. good job, audience. Not yes, cool. it's not cool. No. no. I'm a fan of flip-flops. I have a lot of flip-flops in my closet. Yeah. However, for special occasions, they are inappropriate. I always What if they're like super expensive? Blinged out. Nope. Blinged out. Gucci. Absolutely not. Doesn't no. matter. Does not matter. <laughs> I always say as an alternate, you can just wear nice sandals with a nice little wedge heel and then that will be appropriate. What about rooster shoes? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> this is not cool to wear to a summer outing. All right, let's get to our next etiquette question. Cool or not cool? Thong bikinis are always a no-no. <laughs> oh, I want to uh, see what Ryan yeah, has to say about right. this. Am I voting personally or just for the etiquette segment here? Uh, uh, if, it's, Thong bikinis, if it's for the oh, etiquette. No, no, no. The answer is not cool. No. What yes. does that mean? Meaning, I, hey, I'm not opposed to thong bikinis mm. at all. Therefore, but you need to make sure that you wear it in an appropriate setting. So if you are going to Brazil, I say flaunt it. If you are a man or woman with a shape, hey, flaunt it. However, if you're going to the beach and their families, they're going to be there, or if it's a community complex for an apartment building, okay. then that may not be appropriate. Mm. Okay. All right. But if what you feel about... comfortable and confident, flaunt that thong. What about 44-year-old women going to Vegas in two weeks? <laughs> if they are confident, absolutely go for it. Take your tail feather. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. We got another one here. Is okay. this cool or not cool? If you're a guest at an outdoor gathering, keep your grilling advice to yourself. Mm. I'm, I'm going to say cool. Yeah, too. I'm going to yes, say the cool. The answer is definitely cool. Absolutely. Keep your opinion to yourself. The whole purpose of you being a guest is so that you can enjoy the food and the company. So, in someone else's home, zip. Zip it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think everybody probably knows somebody who always has to have some advice, whether Absolutely. it's wanted or not. And that's that's a fine line. Like, sometimes you don't want someone's advice, right? So you got to right. be... Right. Yeah. The only time you give someone advice at a barbecue is the house is burning down because the meat is burning. <laughs> if the meat is not burning, then you zip it. Yeah. Zip and eat it. Yeah. Zip it and eat it. Uh, you All might right. think about a fire extinguisher. Uh, that's the only advice I'm going to give you. Right. Okay. Do we have any more etiquette tips? Okay. One last one. Here we go. Uh, take off your sunglasses when dining with others, even if dining al fresco. 
Uh, you're probably right on that. I you think probably you're right should on that. Yes, off. absolutely, absolutely. Especially if you're dining indoors. Take off your shades. Communication is all about eye contact. Right. So you want to look at the person, look at their emotions, and it's really hard to do that with your sunglasses on. Now, if the sun is beaming, I'm mm -hmm. all about Chicago rooftops. If the Chicago, if the sun is beaming down on me, I'm putting my shades on. As okay. soon as the clouds go over the sun. Right. Shades off. <laughs> okay, there's an exception to a role. Yes. Lieutenant Richardson, thank, thank you. you so hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.